Hi, how you doing? This is Larry from Rhinish.com. That's R-I-N-I-S-H.com. Finnish, except it's with an R. Rhinish.com, uh, the open source solution for your small business needs. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, today we're going to talk about Magento and creating group products. Um, we're going to use Allenscoins.com as the uh, um, website uh, that we're going to create the group products in. Okay, so I go to Allenscoins.com. There's my Allenscoins.com. So, first thing is, in order to create group products, you need first to create simple products. You take those simple products and you group them together. Um, and when you do that, you get um, you get something like this. This is uh, an example we did already. Um, what these are, are, these are simple products that we then took and grouped together together to create this uh, um, list, um, so to speak. Products, group them together, and create that group product. Okay. So today we're going to create um, a fictitious uh, product called the Polish Nickel. Okay. The Polish Nickel. Now the thing to remember is when you create your name and give it a name, it's going to show up in your group product, like right here. So if you want everything to say Polish Nickel, yada yada yada, Polish Nickel 1958, good. Polish Nickel 1959, very good. Um, then put Polish nickel here all the time. However, we just want to show the year and date. So the first thing I'll do is I'll put 1800 um, good. Okay. Description. All right. Description is the product description in Magento. Okay. Short description is the overview of the product in Magento. All right. However, for simple products, we're not going to put anything um, because they'll never see it uh, once you group the products. So all we do here is because uh, there's an asterisk here. We need to put something there. We need to fill up that place. The program tells me that I need to. So I'll just cut, copy and paste. Here in the SKU, it's a little different. Um, you need to keep, you need to put something here that uh, identifies what this is going to be. So I'll, I'll call this the Polish um, Nickel um, 1800. Good. It also helps with SEO purposes. Uh, it helps generate the URLs dynamically. Wait. Uh, this particular product is going to be 0 0.05 in weight. Then you go down to the next um, um, what the hell I want, uh, whatever. Um, asterisk. Jeez, I lost my mind for a second. Status is going to be enabled. The simple product, this is important, for a simple product, the visibility will be nowhere. Okay, that's something you have to manually change for simple products when you create the simple product. That is going to eventually be a group product. Nowhere is the visibility. Okay, go down to prices. Here you have to name it. You have to give your price and uh, your product, your simple product, a price. Tax class. This particular class, tax class, we're going to use shipping. Now, if your product is a taxable good, obviously you use taxing, taxes. Uh, go down to images. Upload your image. Um, you do not need to upload your image in the simple product. You can save that for your group product. Go to inventory. You do have to manage your inventory in the simple product level. Here we're going to have five. Go down to stock availability. It is in stock. Everything else we use in the config settings. Uh, category. Um, category small or excuse me, it's going to be nickels. Okay, um, and that's it. Save and continue to uh, check your work. Good product saved successfully. Just click save now. Okay, add another product. Simple product. I'm going to add two or more products. You need to create a group product. Uh, 1801, uh, fine. Alright, and then what we'll do. SKU is going to be Polish Nickel 1801 Fine. Wait 0 0.05 for this product as well. Go down to status. Enabled. Visibility nowhere. Prices. Price it's going to be uh, we'll call this $15. Taxable class. It's going to be shipping. Um, go to your image 
images, don't need the images for the simple product. Inventory, you do need inventory. Let's say we got 20 of those. Out of stock, stock availability. These going to be in stock unless it's not in stock. Choose a category. Category is going to be nickels in this particular option. Now we're going to save and continue. Edit to check our work to make sure there's no errors. Okay. No errors. Product saved successfully. Now we're going to save. Now the next step is to group the products. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a product. Instead of choosing simple product, you're going to choose group product. Okay. Click continue. All right, this is where you need to get detailed with your products. Now, the detailed descriptions and what have you will, will be when you create the product. So, this is going to be maybe it's going to be a Polish nickel um, from the 1800 to 1814. Okay, then write a little story. Um, I am writing a short over. short overview is going to be down here in your short description and this will be a longer and more detailed description as you'll see here again the short description will be in the overview the longer description the product description okay skew in here um, because again this will help with generating URLs and help for SEO kind of purposes status is going to be enabled for this visibility it's you're going to leave it at catalog and search okay prices you don't need to do because you did that on the simple product end images is what you will do on this end so with the images you're going to pick a product you're going to upload it all right and then you're going to uh, okay, upload the product. All right, there's your product. Add a detailed description here at the label. Anytime you get a chance to add a description, add the description because it will help with SEO purposes. Okay. Um, inventory, you just need to make sure it's in stock. And categories, you need to pick a category. Uh, this one will be nickels in that category. Okay. Then you go on to associated products. This is where you group your products. This is where you pick your simple products to be in your group products. Here you'll see there's your two Polish nickels that we created already, the two simple products. Click there. Click there. All right. We're going to click save and continue. Okay. Now, the reason we do save and continue is because here it showed me value of attribute skew must be unique. So obviously it's not unique because I probably used it somewhere else. So I'm going to put 18, 14 and see if that is a little more unique. Um, let's see. Product saved successfully. There we go. Now we'll click save. Alright, there's your Polish nickel. We'll come here. down to nickels okay there's and there is our Polish nickel okay group together is your 1801 fine and your 1800 good and there it is all right again uh, thank you very much for uh, watching uh, we hope you enjoyed it we hope it helped once again, my name is Larry from Rhinish.com, the open source solution for your small business needs, uh, specialists and experts in using uh, open source to help save your business money and creating a uh, high-end site. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Take care and have a good day.